Welcome to a Chinese playground. We will be checking out some of the toys they have here and talk about one of the most fundamental principles in all Qi practices, moderation. The principle of moderation basically means that it's best if you do not exert yourself 100% in your practice. Take the simple squat for instance. Instead of squatting as far down as you can, it's best to do a bit less. In this case, when correctly executed, you will find you will have more bounds, which massages the lymphatic system, which in turn improves the functioning of the immune system. Or like with this toy, instead of straightening your legs all the way, it is better for your body if you take it a bit easier. The movement becomes softer and less rigid. Let's take an example from your daily life to demonstrate further. What do you think would happen if wherever you would walk, instead of strolling along in a nice natural pace, you would always try to go as fast as you can? The answer is pretty obvious. You would run out of steam pretty quick. It's sort of like the rabbit and turtle story where slowness is holiness. We overexert ourselves unconsciously in many ways and to different degrees, all the time. Now if you overdo it and hurt your body in some way, there is good news. If you are lucky enough to have yourself a Chinese playground, that is. In which case, all you need to do is use the massaging equipment they have, like this one for reflexology. Or this one for massaging your calves and thighs. Or my personal favorite, this one, for getting rid of the tightness in your back. But if you don't have a Chinese playground at your disposal, then the following may be of some interest to you. In Qi practices, moderation applies to extending, contracting, turning, twisting, basically in everything that you do. If your effort goes past a certain point, it becomes counterproductive. This point of diminishing returns is usually around the 70% mark. That means that you should only exert yourself no more than about 70% of what you can do. Note that your 70% may be different on a daily basis depending on where your energy levels are. If you go past the point of moderation, what happens is that your nerves start to tense up hindering the chi flow and other body functions. Things become less efficient. This applies not only to a physical practice, but also when you are exerting any mental effort. When you go past the 70% in your mental effort, you become more stressed and it's easier to make mistakes and bad decisions. That is why this principle is very important to take on board, even in your daily life. So without trying too hard, Try to become aware of how much effort you exert and apply moderation in as many things as you can. For example, when you are studying, driving, eating, or even to some extent when you're working. Or if you have one of these toys, try it when you are pretending to be a DJ. The more you become aware of when you might be pushing yourself too much, the easier it will be to avoid doing it. Work becomes a bit less like work and a bit more like play.